Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to go over Polyswarm as a special request here. So the, we are trading at 0 0.009627, 24 hour volume. We are down 17.99% and market cap, we are up 2%. So heading over to the chart here, I'm going to go over our daily chart and then immediate short term for four hours. But I've never seen this where there's a lot of selling, just all of these nodes just sticking out like this. So huge, huge selling pressure um, from the 0 0.01217 all the way to 0 0.01152 here. So as we can see already, the huge skyrocket here on October 8th as high as 0 0.01 one seven nine four and then huge selling pressure off from there so essentially where the price is at is coming back down to that accumulation phase if anything because if we can anticipate the same thing that's going to happen we essentially needed the same audience that we got on October 8th we can see that the volume increased as well but also manipulated the marketplace to get that high and then huge sell off already so if we're already at this dollar point where we accumulated then questions are is the price going to continue upwards the RSI itself was considered as incredibly oversold it initiated a buying opportunity at the spinning top candlestick spinning down candlestick um, formation at the very bottom here now again this could be taken as an exhaustion of this downtrend and possible for the price to come back up this is going to be our test of the 20 moving average closer to 1019 if the moving average 20 continues to remain here. But one of the things that I really like seeing in the last couple of candlesticks is these high wick sticks at the very top here. These here show a lot of buying pressure as the wicks at the very top itself. And hopefully again, we are in that accumulation phase where we can see um, poly swarm go up once again and see that manipulation in hopes to gain profit essentially is what we're looking for. Now the MACD indicator here is looking really nicely so long again it does flip from the red to the green and if we do get that momentum in the green as our RSI is showing an indicator that we are considered as oversold we're both going to see it come up and come up and retest this area of resistance here at one 0 0.01036 here. We can see again a few candlesticks getting rejected at this point. Now heading immediately um, to our four hour immediate short term. Um, one of the things that we can see here is how big these wicks are getting. Again, we are getting huge buying pressure with all of these wicks essentially here. Now one of the things I want to show you guys here in immediate short term is this consolidation. Take a look at the Bollinger Bands coming back down and narrowing. There is going to be a breakout that's going to happen for Polyswarm in either an uptrend or a downtrend. Now let's take a look at what that looks like. Here is the 20 moving average. Normally breakouts occur and gives us the hint if we're able to close above the 20 moving average. We haven't been able to close above it quite yet. So in the next couple of hours, keep your eye on the 20 moving average and see if we can be able to close above it. But most importantly, we want to retrace to the 20 um, the top of the Bollinger Band. If we can get a completion of retracing up here and we see that pinch of our Bollinger Bands, the completion of the breakout in an uptrend is completed. If we do, don't do see ourselves close above the 20 moving average and actually retrace closer down after that pinch of the Bollinger Bands, then we broke out in a downtrend and we may not hold our area of support that we see with this line here at 9170. If we take a look at a few candlesticks retracing at this area, Area of support. We've held it very nicely, but that breakout might retest that area of support and essentially may break it. And we may see the price go further down from this daily trend of 916. So watch out. <laughs> watch those areas for today. Definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. I hope so. Smash that like button. Also, if you're new, subscribe to the channel and comment down below, but I'll see you next time. Bye.